Roots of Queen Elizabeth II Queen Elizabeth II, a legacy of stability, service, and dedication. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, served as the head of the British royal family and a symbol of continuity for the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth for over 70 years. Ascending the throne at the young age of 25 in 1952, she reigned through a period of immense social, political, and technological change. Her reign witnessed the decline of the British Empire, the emergence of the Commonwealth, the Cold War, and the Digital Age, all while she remained a consistent, unifying figure for her nation and many around the world. This essay explores the life, reign, and legacy of Queen Elizabeth II, highlighting her steadfast commitment to duty, her role in shaping the monarchy, and her enduring global impact. Early Life and Education Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born on April 21, 1926, in London to the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. As the elder daughter of the Duke of York, Elizabeth was not initially expected to become Queen. Her uncle, King Edward VIII, was expected to reign, however, his abdication in 1936 thrust her father into the role of king and made Elizabeth the heir presumptive. Elizabeth's early years were shaped by the events of World War II. As a teenager, she made her first public broadcast in 1940, addressing British children evacuated to the countryside and abroad. In 1945, she joined the Auxiliary Territorial Service, becoming the first female member of the royal family to serve in the armed forces. This wartime experience laid the foundation for her lifelong dedication to service. Elizabeth received a private education and was tutored in constitutional history, law, and foreign languages. Her close relationship with her father, King George VI, profoundly influenced her understanding of the monarchy's role, and her sense of duty was evident from a young age. Marriage to Prince Philip and Family Life In 1947, Elizabeth married Prince Philip of Greece and Denmark, whom she had met as a teenager. Their marriage was a partnership that lasted over 73 years until Philip's death in 2021. Together, they had four children, Charles, born in 1948, and, born in 1950, Andrew, born in 1960, and Edward, born in 1964. Prince Philip became a crucial figure in Elizabeth's life, offering unwavering support throughout her reign. As a young wife and mother, Elizabeth balanced her personal responsibilities with her role as the heir apparent. However, her father's deteriorating health in the early 1950s meant she had to take on more official duties. In 1952, while on a trip to Kenya, she received the news of her father's death, and at 25, Elizabeth was now queen. Ascension to the throne and early reign. Elizabeth was crowned on June 2, 1953, in a grand ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Her coronation was the first to be televised, marking the monarchy's adaptation to the modern age and bringing it into the homes of millions worldwide. From the outset of her reign, Queen Elizabeth II was committed to upholding the traditions of the monarchy while also modernizing it to remain relevant in a rapidly changing world. Her early years as queen coincided with the end of the British Empire and the rise of the Commonwealth of Nations, a voluntary association of independent states that evolved from former British colonies. Under her reign, the Commonwealth grew significantly, with Elizabeth acting as a symbol of unity and continuity. She traveled extensively, visiting nearly every member nation and strengthening diplomatic ties. Queen Elizabeth's reign also saw significant changes in Britain itself. The post-war period brought about profound economic and social transformation, including the end of imperial rule in Africa and Asia, decolonization, and the rise of the welfare state. Throughout these changes, the Queen maintained a politically neutral role, upholding the constitutional principles of the British monarchy. The Role of the Monarch Queen Elizabeth II was a constitutional monarch, meaning that her powers were largely ceremonial and symbolic. However, she played a critical role in providing stability and continuity, 
especially during times of political or national crises. As head of state, she performed ceremonial duties such as the state opening of parliament, receiving foreign dignitaries, and representing the UK on state visits abroad. One of her key responsibilities was to meet regularly with her prime ministers. Over the course of her reign, Queen Elizabeth worked with 15 British prime ministers, from Winston Churchill to Liz Truss, as well as numerous Commonwealth leaders. These weekly audiences with her prime ministers were an opportunity for the monarch to offer her insights and provide counsel, though she never wielded direct political power. The Queen was deeply committed to her sense of duty, regularly attending public engagements, charity events, and royal functions. Over her reign, she became the patron of more than 600 organizations and charities, including those focused on health, education, and the environment. Her support for these causes helped raise awareness and funding, making her a beloved figure among many. Challenges and Modernization of the Monarchy Despite her dedication to the crown, Queen Elizabeth's reign was not without challenges. In the 1990s, the royal family faced a series of crises, including public scrutiny of their wealth and role in society, as well as personal scandals. The most notable of these was the highly publicized marriage breakdown of Prince Charles and Princess Diana and Diana's tragic death in 1997. The royal family's perceived detachment in the immediate aftermath of Diana's death led to a dip in public approval. However, the Queen's eventual public statement, expressing empathy and acknowledging Diana's importance to the nation, helped restore public trust. This period marked a turning point, as the monarchy began to embrace greater transparency and accessibility. Queen Elizabeth II recognized the need for the monarchy to evolve in order to stay relevant in modern society. Over the years, she allowed greater media access to the royal family and endorsed various reforms, such as reducing the size of the royal household and cutting back on public spending related to the monarchy. The Queen also faced the challenge of maintaining the monarchy's relevance in the Commonwealth, where some nations moved toward republicanism, such as Barbados in 2021. Nonetheless, her personal popularity remained high throughout the Commonwealth, and she continued to be a unifying figure. Legacy and the End of an Era as the longest reigning monarch in British history, Queen Elizabeth II reign spanned more than 70 years, during which time she became a global icon of stability and service. She was a constant presence through times of enormous political, social, and technological change, adapting to new realities while preserving the traditions of the monarchy. Her legacy is characterized by her unwavering sense of duty, her diplomatic skill in managing both domestic and international affairs, and her dedication to the Commonwealth. Her ability to remain politically neutral while providing a steadying influence made her one of the most respected and admired figures of her time. Queen Elizabeth's reign was also significant for its modernization of the British monarchy. She understood the importance of adapting to the expectations of a changing society, and through careful reforms, she ensured the institution's survival into the 21st century. In her later years, as she gradually delegated more responsibilities to younger members of the royal family, particularly her son Charles, Prince of Wales, Queen Elizabeth remained a beloved figure. Her Platinum Jubilee in 2022 marked a historic milestone, celebrating her seven decades of service. On September 8, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II passed away at the age of 96, ending the longest reign in British history. Her death marked the end of an era, and tributes poured in from around the world, reflecting the profound impact she had on the global stage. Key Accomplishments Longest reigning monarch, surpassed Queen Victoria's record in 2015. Commonwealth leadership, strengthened ties with Commonwealth nations. Modernization of the monarchy, adapted the institution to changing societal norms. Symbol of national identity, embodied British culture and values. Awards and Honours Order of the Garter, Highest Order of Chivalry in the UK. Order of the Thistle, Highest Scottish Honour. Order of the Bath, Military Honour for Service. Numerous Foreign Honours and Awards. Conclusion
As the longest reigning British monarch, Queen Elizabeth II continues to carry out royal duties, albeit with reduced responsibilities. Her son, Charles, Prince of Wales, is next in line to the throne. Queen Elizabeth II was known for her sense of humor, her love of horses, and her dedication to her duties. She was a patron of numerous charities and organizations, and she was committed to public service. Her reign was marked by a sense of duty, tradition, and service. Queen Elizabeth II's life and reign embodied a deep commitment to duty, service, and the continuity of the British monarchy. She served as a stabilizing force in a world of constant change, earning the respect and admiration of millions. Her legacy will endure as one of devotion to her people, her country, and the Commonwealth, and her reign will be remembered as a period of remarkable transition, from the post-war era to the modern world.